welcome to the Revere Veterans and Community Show. Today we have really two special guests. They are community veterans and they do a tremendous amount for the community. And one of them does especially for the veterans at the Soldiers Home. Welcome, Mr. John Davis. A pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Morris. And Evelyn Squateri from the Revere Senior Center. What a beautiful looking woman. A pleasure to have you here. <laughs> I'm going to start off. Is it okay with you, everyone, if I start off with Mr. John Davis? John, you are Director of Recreation Therapy and Volunteer Service at the Chelsea Soldiers. Yes, I am. Could you tell us something about sure. that? Sure. First of all, thank you very much for having me. It was nice to meet you several years ago, and a pleasure to meet you today. Thank you. Um, I've been lucky enough to be at the Soldiers' Home for many years. I'm the Director of Recreation Therapy and Volunteer Services. Um, that's a great job. It's a state facility where we serve almost 500 veterans. Wow. We have a, a domiciliary for more independent veterans, and then we have a, a long-term care setting, the Quigley Building. Um, to sum up my job, I'm lucky to have the pleasure of serving the veterans, helping enhance the quality of their life by providing them recreation activities. I also am lucky enough to work with many great volunteers, young children, students, seniors, retired people, people that just want to help and give back to the veterans in some way. So that's another great part of my job. And it makes my job a lot easier too. Um, the veterans really appreciate when people take the time to show they care. And it means a lot to them that they're not forgotten. Um, so that's what I do at my job and I really enjoy what I do. I'd like to ask you, John, have you had any famous veterans, I mean famous people down there just out of? Uh, well, they're all special, of course. Uh, I, every veteran is special. Right. Um, I'm not sure about famous. We have a lot of politicians that come by and show their respects and check out the facility, especially since it's a state facility. Um, so that's really about it. Now i got to ask you, how did you get started in all this? I mean, it's fantastic. Sure. Um, well, it started many years ago. I studied what's called recreation therapy at Ithaca College in Upper State New York. What part? What city? So uh, Ithaca, the oh. same part, Ithaca and Cornell. And I got a degree in recreation therapy. So I wanted to do something in the helping field. So I've worked with various populations, special populations, before I started actually working with the veterans. I worked with uh, mentally ill children, mentally ill adults. I worked with in head injury rehab. Um, and then uh, many years ago, I started working with the, the um, veterans. And that's what I've actually enjoyed the most. I think Thank that's you, John, wonderful. for your services. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I would like to say something before I get to you, Evelyn. About four years ago, St. Patrick's Day, I didn't have any music. My friend took away all the Irish music, and I went crazy looking for it. Someone suggested I call the soldiers home, and I happened to speak to Mr. John Davis. Never met him before, never knew him before, and I said, is there a chance I could borrow a few Irish CDs for the senior center? He says, come right on down. I got a whole load of them. Take your pick. I did, and it turned out to be a success, not only for me, but for both of us, John. So let me thank you again, my friend. You're very welcome. By the way, now I'd like to introduce a beautiful lady from the Revere Senior Center, Evelyn Squateri. Can I tell them how old you are? Excuse me? Can I tell them how old you are, Evelyn? Yes, dear. Evelyn is 91 years old, God bless her, and she does knitting for the soldiers' home and for the veterans. And John, would you grab that for one sure. minute, please? We're going to hold this up, Evelyn, to show them what you did. She, Evelyn made this blanket, not one, but two, and she's going to present and it to also you. Also for the veterans. Thank right. you. So Evelyn presented to Mr. John Davis. And I also donate veterans, not to all of them, the disability mm -hmm. veterans I donate at home. Very good. Thank you very much. Yes. I'll make sure this gets to a veteran that will really appreciate yeah, this. I really, I really. Thank you. This is, I make out veterans uh, disability, mm -hmm. not all the other ve right. veterans. Thank you. Evelyn, i yes. got to say thank you because not only this, she was, before we came here today, John, she was ready to go up to the knitting class. And she was heading up there to do more <laughs> sewing. I had to yell at her to bring her back down there so she could come on our TV show, Evelyn. Remember? I said, come on down, Evelyn. we got to go to the studio. And um, let me tell you, it's an honor well, to have you I here. Really didn't, I really didn't believe all this was going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's important. It's very much appreciated. Evelyn, before I get back to Mr. Davis, I just yeah, got one yeah, question. But I had to tell him, I also donate to the veterans' I know disability. You do. Right. Not every month. Like twice. I check on my book. Not every month. Mm -hmm. 
my dad, I do. Whatever I, you do is appreciated. Yeah, right. I know. right. Now, John, I'd like to get back to you, sure. if I may, sir. How long have you been? Yeah, how long have you been at the soldiers' well, home? I've been there a long time, and time does fly when you're doing something you enjoy. I've been almost 17 years, and it seems like a long time, and it is. 31. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> You tried to guess my age earlier. I was, you know, I was <laughs> flattering, but I'm a little older than you might think. But I've been there almost 17 years, wow. and I'm proud to say I enjoy it very much. And many of my coworkers have been there longer, 20, 30, 40 years, because it's just a rewarding place to work, serving the veterans, um, really making a difference in someone's life. So I've been there like almost 17 years. I used to go up there for medical treatment, mm -hmm. and it was a pleasure to talk to you when I would meet you up there. Yeah. It's an honor to have you working there, and I've got to tell you, the Commonwealth couldn't have picked a better man when they picked oh, you. Oh, thank you. Thank okay. you very much. I appreciate now, it. Now, I want to ask you something else. What do you do at the Soldiers' Home right. without, um, besides yeah. recreation? Um, well, recreation is a big part of the job, and that encompasses a lot of things. Such as? We have um, veterans at all different levels. Some um, are less active. Uh, have more uh, more medically involved, some are more independent. So we try to prepare and schedule diverse recreation activities. So we do a lot of things in the facility. I schedule various entertainers, all different types of music, opera, folk singers, jazz singers, um, young kids come in and sing, perform, and the veterans really enjoy seeing different types of music. We schedule entertainers like uh, magicians, uh, they're really big on pet therapy. We've got some wonderful pet therapy dogs that come and visit. And, no matter what level someone's at, they always seem to enjoy seeing someone come in with a, a nice dog. Um, we also do a lot of outings. We're very grateful and lucky to work with a lot of wonderful veterans organizations and Elks groups that are so supportive of the Soldiers Home, not just monetarily, but with hands-on. We have a lot of parties and outings and cookouts to um, their facilities. Also, we schedule um, sometimes catered events. We have parties at the facility. We have pizza parties. We have bingos, blackjacks, poker games. So we really try to cover the gamut. We try to, we try to compare what the veterans enjoy prior to them coming to the soldier's home and do what, the best we can to keep providing them with those recreation activities they enjoyed and also taking into account their current disabilities and trying to adapt things. So I, that's a big part of that, and I'm lucky to have a lot of groups that work with me in, in that and support my efforts. Volunteer is a big thing. We really re have a lot of great volunteers. They come in and might do one-to-one -one visits just to take someone outside for a few minutes. Just showing attention makes a big difference in someone's life. Right, John, and I want to say I was at your cookout, if I may say yeah, that, sure. on August the 3rd. Yeah, that was a great and time. And i got to tell you, you did a fantastic job, well, you and your crew. Yeah. I had a wonderful time, right. and I met a lot of people there that will be on the show only because I met them at the cookout. Right. Well, I, I played a role in it, but that was a huge team effort. And that's right, what we, can, we have a great team at the Soldiers' Home, from the administration all the way down. We have a great dietary can department. I, can I say something? Sure. I think it's wonderful and marvelous that you put all your work and very charitable in what you're doing. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. And I enjoy it, too. And it's Thank you, Evelyn. Yeah. You're such a beautiful speaker. <laughs> now, if you get a card of your name. Sure, I'll give it to you after. No about. problem, yeah. All right. Yeah, I certainly will. So well, we, we enjoy that. Um, we have a lot of great events and a lot of great people helping us out. And that cookout you saw, it ran very smoothly, but it took months and months of team effort. We had to get uh, permits from the city of Chelsea. We, the cookout has grown over the years. It used to be in the back of the main building, but we had the whole street blocked off. I you know, know We had a tent that they set up at 5 in the morning. The city of Chelsea was very cooperative. We got permits to block the street off for the day. Um, the Middlesex deputy sheriffs, they came in droves. Dozens of them came in. We need the manpower to push all the veterans in the wheelchairs, cooking the food, donating the food, serving the food. We had an ice cream truck there, music, and a... Uh, it's just a great time, not just for the veterans. It gives them an opportunity to have a wonderful time in the summer with their family members, grandchildren, their children, brothers, sisters, there's husbands, a, wives. There's a lot of work. I got to tell you. a lot of work. It was very rewarding. There's a too. lot of work. Yes, it John, is. I'm a World War II veteran, not yep. combatant, because right. I went in when the war was over, because mm -hmm. I was only 17 at the time. But it is people like you and you that really make me feel good. I'm glad. I, I'm a veteran of World War II. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you got to see it. And I could see you there smiling while you're eating your hamburger. 
Oh, you'll remember that. Oh, I sure do, yeah. <laughs> you were just taking it all in. You were smiling, so I guess you approved. No, because I was telling myself funny jokes. <laughs> yeah, you told me a couple, yeah. <laughs> okay. John, I'd like to bring up something, if I may, Evelyn, and Evelyn knows about this, too. We at the Revere Senior Center, way back in, uh, let me get this in. I'm going to show this picture on TV. It's an honor flight. There's a bunch of veterans here. Can you folks see this picture? Can you uh, zoom in on this? In the studio there? Okay, this is called the Honor Flight. Mm -hmm. It was a flight that I happened to meet Nick Boer, who happens to be the our Revere Veteran Service head, took me down to East Boston when they had the flag burning. And I met a gentleman there, and he happened to mention the Honor Flight when I told him I'm a WW2. So he gave me an application. We made copies. We gave it to the senior center, and we filled it out. And four of us from the senior center got picked. We went to Washington for one day. Then of course this is sent. People took care of us and wheeled it. I'd like to give you an application that Thank pass you. that on to all the soldiers I at sure the will. soldiers' home. And would you tell them from Revere TV eight? I will. Thank them all for their services. I will, and I'll and make sure this gets to the right people. Right. And Evelyn, don't forget. One other thing, I'm sure the soldiers does it, John. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a woman here, Eileen Morello. She'll be donate, uh, making, um, I think she already had the monument for the Women's World War II Memorial. Mm -hmm. She went around her and honored the women uh, of Revere who were never honored before because they were acknowledged defer acknowledgement deferred. In other words, nobody ever talked about them. She did that. Maybe you could mention that to some of the women in Chelsea. I sure to will, yes. Uh, yes. It, right? Just take a look at this, John. Let me show you a picture. That's it. See that? That's the picture. And yeah. if you take a look, John, there's the woman right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, you should, you'll be able to tell she's the only woman there. So you should be able to find her, John. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. She's at the center. Right. Yeah, it's very good. Every day That's great. Sunday. Okay. This one here is a little sad story. I, it is a sad story. We send out packages to the troops all year long. Ah, we have Mr. Paul Monty come up. Remember a couple of years ago he came up? His son, right here, got the Congressional Medal of Honor, but he was killed in Afghanistan in 2006. Evelyn, the woman, the men at the senior went around, collected the money. They collected $1,240, which they donated to put the flags on the graves at the Bourne Cemetery. Mm -hmm. And the soldiers do that, too, at the Chelsea Soldiers yeah. Home, John. So I'd like you to look yeah. at that one. It's very nice. OK, so I thought you'd like to see these things over here. And by the way, <coughs> excuse me, i got to get rid of that cold. I'll like, can I get back to Evelyn for Of a course. Evelyn. Yes, dear. Tell us a little about your family, because you know, you're 91 years old. I'm sure you must have a grandchild somewhere now, you along want, the way. You, you want me to brag about my yes, beautiful family? Yes, I do. Family. Yes, I do. I've got three great children, Philip, Angela, and Susan. And I get five great-grandchildren. And they're the beautiful people and always respect me all the way. That's all I can say. I got to tell you, John, I got to say this. I usually go around with the help of some of the other people mm -hmm. from the senior center to collect certain things and to help out. And it's a, a, a group. It's not just yours truly or him or her. Right. It's the whole group at yeah. the senior center. When I go around and collect for the troops, whether it be you know, for the blankets, money for the packages, never has this lady not ever refused to give me oh, one we will go into that. She comes over to me, and she can't walk good. She can't, because she's 91. She has a difficult time sometimes. I don't have to go to her. Morris, what are you collecting? Morris, can I give you the money now? Morris, can I do this? And I have to tell her, no, yeah, yeah, no. Big money, I say, yeah, yeah. The other <laughs> things, I say, no, no. Oh, when my son hears that, you'll say, I know, ma. <laughs> you do everything all the way. You do. <laughs> Well, otherwise you wouldn't have had any kids. <laughs> Evelyn, it's a pleasure to have you come up here. I drove her up here. She, of course, I had to meet her in my car, Rod, right? so yeah. she'll pay me when she gets you back. Know, <laughs> I need a little help mm -hmm. in, in and out of the car. 
I thought I had my son with me. He helped me. I'm sure he did. I, I need a little help. Yeah, a little bit. A little help here, there. Oh, I uh, thought my son was with me. He oh, helped nice. me all I'm sure way. he helped you. I even and when I get back to the office, they're going to be known about Morris Morris. <laughs> what a gentleman. Don't, they'll think you're lying. <laughs> like, well, don't say that. John, I want to get back to you for a few sure. minutes because it's a pleasure to have you come out and take time off. What would you like to see done at the Soldiers Some of the Future? Or how can we help you now? I got, before you say one thing, I have a bunch of hard books at the Senior Center, books. They take them at the Soldiers Home? Actually, right now we're not taking books. We have sort of like a, you know, a lot of books. And oh, okay. We don't have a need for books right now. I want you to tell the people on television, not only because this goes out, mm. YouTube, Facebook, it goes out over the whole right. what the soldiers would like to receive, what they can use, and maybe some of them will bring it up to your well, soldiers. Well, sure. Well, first I'd like to start by saying anything, any amount, any donation is appreciated, how little or how much. Tell them how to mail it and where to. Well, if you if you like to make a donation to the Soldiers Home, you just simply mail it to the Soldiers Home, care of John Davis, 91 Crest Ave, Chelsea, Mass, 02150. But that being said, what's really very important, too, is just people volunteering their time. It could be one day a week, one day a month. It could be several hours a week. And th for that, you'd contact John Davis at the Soldiers Home. Just call the main number, 617-884-5660. Um, Ask for John Davis, and we'll take it from there. Um, you might think you don't have enough time. You'd be surprised. We can work it out. Um, we have flexible things. We have activities during the day, morning, afternoon, evening, weekends. Tell them what kind of activities. Yeah. Sure. Well, like I sort of alluded to earlier, we have uh, a lot of the activities take place on the actual wards. It's not like a typical nursing home. So oh. it takes place on their wards. So there's about 20 veterans or so on each ward in the Quigley building, the long-term care part. Um, but we have a main activity room, and sometimes we have a lot of our activities there, so we need people to help the veterans get to the activities. Um, sometimes we do things like a current events group where we need help just getting the veterans to the activity. Uh, it might seem trivial, but it's very helpful serving them coffee, donuts, just socializing with them, spending time. That's really a big need and very, something that's very much appreciated. Right. You know, during the holidays, Christmas, sometimes when... The people from Revere will come down and help, so some of the others can take off on their vacation or have their holiday ce celebrate. Mm. Memorial Day, Veterans Day, you people put on a great show for us, and tell us about that. I, 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 well, we, of course we try to, we, we provide activities and things all throughout the year. The holidays is a big time for the veterans. Um, as it is for everybody. We like to put on a lot of Christmas parties. In that time of the year, we do get a lot of donations. So we kind of would appreciate donations throughout the year. Anything's appreciated, of course. Um, we try to have parties and celebrations, um, you know, for the main holidays, Christmas, New Year's. Um, we do a lot of, we have a lot of catered events at those times, just to make them feel special. John, I got a question from a veteran from Revere, not from Chelsea, Revere. Okay. You people have a cafeteria downstairs, fantastic food. I've eaten there. The food is very good. You do not have to be a veteran of Chelsea to go down to the soldier's home to have lunch, or am I wrong when I say that? Um, well, for the most part, you have, would, most people that eat at the soldier's home would be a resident or patient at the soldier's home or a guest of a resident or a patient at the soldier's All home. All right. When the guest comes, does he have to pay? Or no. To if it's a guest of somebody, no. He doesn't? No, if they're a guest of someone at the soldier's home. I hope that answers your question, Philip. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Sure. Evelyn, let me get back to you. Oh, well, there's not much more I could say. A it's a pleasure to be at the senior center. It's a pleasure to have you. I, and I hope they keep it up all the time. Right. It's, i I got to say one thing to you, Evelyn. By the way, at the senior center, I'm sure they have it at the soldier you know, home every great. Wednesday. It's a great thing for us elderly women to come, sit down, mm -hmm. have coffee, right. socialize. That's nice. And it's wonderful. I'm glad you have that opportunity. Yes. By the way, there's one woman I did not mention, but I will mention it. No, don't mention. I have to mention it because no, no, she's no, not no, here. No, no, no. Her name is Lois Diamond. Mm -hmm. She's to the senior center what you are to the soldier's home, director of recreation. <laughs> She organized the women's group to do the knitting. Mm -hmm. They need John. They need 
blankets, I mean, you know, whatever they can to do the sewing. They also make hats, John. I don't know where they, they get them at the soldier's home. They sew knitted hats. So they go over yes, there. we have those donated, sure. If you have them donated, most of them come right here from our Om Revere Senior Center. Yeah. She does that too, right, Evelyn? Tell him, tell him how you I like I make it. Afghans, not hats. You, you just make Afghans? Huh? Just Afghans? Afghans, no hats. You don't make a whole gun, just a half no, gun. No, just a half gun. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay have a look. Uh, <laughs> oh, Morris, Morris. <laughs> no, it's a pleasure. I've got to tell you, dragging you up here, I've been trying to get you for months and months and months and months. And finally, when she had this, and I told her you were coming. And that changed her, John, really. <laughs> no, no, that's the truth. That changed her whole mind. Oh, good. Thank so, you. Uh, what, so, John, we still got about seven minutes left. You have a man working with you who helped us too, Paul. I don't know his last name. Oh, uh, Paul Morin. Right, he's a great guy. Would you tell us something right. about Right, he Paul? works with me, works side by side. He's a great support. He's, um, he technically, he oversees the dormitory recreation. Now, I, told, I spoke early how we have the dormitory and we have the Quigley building. Although everything's combined and anyone's welcome at any activity or event, um, we try to really focus on activities that are specific to the veterans needs so generally speaking the veterans that are in the dormitory are more independent um, a lot of them are younger some are older but they're not medically as involved as the Quigley patients so he really is a specialist in working at motivating coming up with great ideas great contacts to really enhance the quality of life of the veterans in the dormitory so he's in charge of the dormitory recreation not to say that he won't help me out and he's very knowledgeable and just as capable as I am is taking care of the patients in the Quigley building. We work together, but he really is geared towards um, taking care of the veterans in the dormitory. I got to tell you, John, you spoke about animals. I love animals. Mm -hmm. I feed the birds. I yeah. have a bunch of cats in my backyard. Mm -hmm. I take care of them. We have no rodents. We have no mosquitoes in there. Mm -hmm. When I went to the VA in Jamaica Plain about 12, 13 years ago, I used to take music up there. They used to bring in Little, uh, ch not chihuahuas, though, what the heck did I call Shih tzus, I guess, a little dog. Yeah, a little lap dog, yes. Yeah, yeah. for therapy for the uh, soldiers that mm -hmm. were there that were hurt in the war, and it was the best medicine they ever had. Right. You could, uh, in other words, if someone comes to visit a patient in the soldier's home and he has his pet with him, can he bring that in there too? Um, yes, there's certain little rules and regulations, but yeah, if someone, ha someone is a veteran and they have a pet, they can visit with them in certain areas. But you yourself cannot have pets at the soldier. No, no. Okay, that's what I was getting yeah, at. There's ways to have the, of course, someone can have the pet visit in a certain area, but we have, in addition to that, of course, we have trained, certified pet therapy dogs that visit weekly. Oh. Great dogs, small dogs, bigger dogs. Recently we have, um, um, what is it called, a, a labradoodle? I never knew of that. I never even heard of it. looks like a it. huge poodle, part Labrador, half poodle. Great dog. Very friendly, nice and high, so they can reach pet him, pet yep. him, and it's a wonderful dog. And that involves someone volunteering their time. Once a week, they come in for a couple hours, and they visit all the veterans in the Quigley building. What towns do the people come from to, with the pets from? I know I don't know if they come from Revere, uh, but I if they don't, start in, folks. Uh, this particular person, I think she's from Malden, I think she said. Very close. I think it's Malden. Oh, talking about, do you know a Don Kingsbury from Chelsea? He's a veteran. Not off the top of my head, no. Well, he, he's from Chelsea, from your area, and he introduced me to a gentleman from our city of Revere. Maybe you heard of him, Steve Leone? No. Bronze Star oh. recipient. You know, I always used to say Congressional Medal of Honor winner, Bronze Star winner, and I was corrected a hundred times before I was finally sunk into that ticket. Right. It's recipient. Not winner. Right. I mean, uh, so we have a lot of great veterans. Right. You have a lot of great I veterans sure at the Soldiers Home. I, when I go up there once in a while, I used to go up there and play the music, but John Bova, yep. what's his name? John Bova, yes. John Bova, he was doing the music, so yep. I didn't want to compete with him because right. I had the senior center. Sure. So he handled it himself out there, so we had a good time. Yeah. Evelyn, right there. how did you like coming up here and presenting this beautiful blanket that you knit? Excuse me? How did you like coming up here? Oh, I enjoyed it immensely. <laughs> now I can tell my children I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, but uh, who's, can I be your agent when you go? Hi. We'll put you some love seats. <laughs> I didn't think this all coming out of this Afghan, but... That's right. what started it, right. This but I enjoy coming up here. Let me tell you, Evelyn, 
it was a pleasure for uh, me, and I'm sure for John as sure well. Was, yeah. Do you want to tell the what? gentleman about your pacemaker when you go by me? Oh, we have a little fun <laughs> going on. John, every time I John. go by her, every time <laughs> I go by her, I do this like she makes my heart beat Pace. fast. And I tell her, <laughs> I got to adjust my pacemaker. <laughs> we have a lot of fun at the <laughs> Sea and Center. We okay, laugh that's at you. Nice. Okay, John, we've got about three minutes left. Take a couple of minutes and wrap it up for us. Sure. Well, I just want to thank Morris Morris for having me here today. I it's, thank you for I, coming, John. I, no, 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 I thank <laughs> you. No. All right. I, I certainly you. never anticipated years ago when you walked to my office and said, can I borrow some Irish music that would come to this. But I always say it's not what you know, it's who you know. Right. And uh, it was just nice to come down here with some nice people and share with the people of Revere. What I, and I just always enjoy the opportunity to talk about the work I have the honor of doing at the Soldiers' Home. All the great people I get to meet. I've met hundreds of great people through the veterans and through the work Likewise, I do. John. Yeah, thank you. The, the veterans groups. Uh, the VFWs, the DAVs, the AMVETs, the, the, all the auxiliary groups of the veterans organizations, the ELKS. So I get to do a lot of things I enjoy because uh, the people still support the veterans and there's a lot of people out there that support the veterans and I'm in there every day working with the veterans and I feel that. People call up every day, want to know what they can do, how they can help and it's appreciated and it just makes my job easier and the veterans just appreciate anytime someone just gives them attention young school groups come in they make them cards on Valentine's Day Christmas 4th of July their faces light up no matter what level they are if someone comes in to say hello to say they came in to visit them it makes them feel special John I want to say to, to you don't answer me back on this one it was a pleasure to have you come up here thank you. and I want to thank you may God bless you Evelyn, no, it was an honor to have you up here. May God bless you, be, too. Thank you. Right, may God to bless the there. people of Revere, nice. bless our troops and our great country, the United States of America. Until the next time, thank you all for listening. And this was a great, great veterans group. This thank is a you. great experience for an old lady. Thank to you. me, you're a beautiful young lady, Evelyn. Thank you. Thanks.